Hello my craft friends, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're gonna be DIY crafting with those adorable wall decals from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started with our project. The supplies you'll need for this DIY are going to be your wall decal. I'm gonna be using this wall decal with the pink peonies on it from the Dollar Tree. This is one of their original wall decals and I think it's so lovely. You'll also need a one by six that's been cut down to 14 inches. We start by painting our board or staining it, whatever you prefer. I'm going to be using this apple barrel paint in white. And we'll paint the whole board front and back. Once we have our board painted, we're now going to bring back in our wall decals. And this is quite a simple step. You're just going to figure out how you want to place your wall decals along your board. And since my board is a little bit smaller and my decals are larger, I'm gonna be using two of the peonies. And they are very sticky on the back side, but for a little bit more security, I came in with this Elmer's Purple Glue Stick and added it to the back side. Then I attached them to my board. I absolutely love these original wall decals that they carry. Which wall decal is your favorite? Once we have our wall decals glued down, we're now gonna come in and antique our board. And for this, I'm gonna be using this Americana gel stain in walnut. I start with a little bit on my rag and start at the edges of my board. Then you can blend it to as much antiquing as you prefer. Hey, if you like what you see so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. And once we have that done, just to secure our wall decals a little bit further on our board, I came in with this Rust-Oleum two-time enamel clear coat and gave it two coats. Once that dries, we're now moving on to our next step and that's going to be adding these coat hooks. These are so beautiful. I love the white enamel paint on them. Very, very pretty. I purchased these at Walmart in a pack of six. Now when adding the coat hooks, you can just eyeball it or you can measure as I'm doing here. Once you have your coat hooks spaced out, you'll then come in and mark them with a pencil and attach your screws. And then once you're finished adding your screws, you're left with this gorgeous wall mount coat rack. Hey 
Hey my craft friends, that wraps it up for this DIY craft project and I think it turned out quite adorable. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave a heart comment down below if you love how the project turned out too. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And subscribe if you haven't yet done so. We'd love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. If you're still in the crafting spirit, go ahead and click on one of these two videos. And until next time, make sure and keep it crafty.